This is very rare footage of PLA live drills for Dong Farn 21 and 21D missiles launching. The first part of this video shows they are training of Dong Farn 21 missile launching, and the second part of this video showing the latest variant DF 21D missile live launch drill that is known as Carrier Killer. The Dong Farn 21 or DF 21 is a two stage, solid fuel rocket, single warhead medium range ballistic missile in the Dong Farn series developed by China Chongfeng Mechanics and Electronics Technology Academy. Development started in the late 1960s and was completed around 1985-86, but it was not deployed until 1991. It was developed based on the submarine-launched JL-1 missile, and is China's first solid-fuel land-based missile. The U.S. Department of Defense in 2008 estimated that China had 60 to 80 missiles and 60 launchers, approximately 10 to 11 missiles can be built annually. It is unknown how many of them they have now. Originally developed as a strategic weapon, the DF-21's later variants were designed for both nuclear and conventional missions. It is thought able to carry a high explosive, submunition, or 300 kiloton nuclear warhead. The latest DF-21D was said to be the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile, short for ASBM. The DF-21 has also been developed into a space-capable anti-satellite weapon, anti-missile weapon carrier. Though the DF-20 launcher itself is mobile to reduce vulnerability, an actual launch unit requires support vehicles that can cover a radius of a 100-meter area, making it hard to move quickly and easier to detect. Also, the wheeled launcher is not made to travel off-road and requires solid ground when firing to prevent backblast and debris damage due to the hard launch, restricting its firing locations to roads and pre-made launch pads. The basic variant DF-21 had a range of 1,770 km, and a payload of 600 kg, or 1,300 pounds consisting of a single 500 kiloton nuclear warhead, with an estimated circular error probable of 300 to 400 meters. This version did not enter operational service. The DF-21A was operational by 1996 and has improved accuracy with an estimated to be 100 to 300 meters. This version is reported to have a similar 1,770 km range, with a potential extended range of 2,150 km or 1,340 miles. Revealed in 2006, the DF-21C is a terminally guided version that has a maximum range believed to be about 1,700 km and accuracy estimated to be 50 to 100 meters. The missile was the first dual-capable version able to be armed with either a nuclear or conventional warhead. In 2010, the DF-21C was being deployed in central western China. This part of video is showing PLA or training of DF-21 missile launching. Later part of this video will show PLA or training of latest variant DF-21D missile launching. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 这在瞬息万变的战场上并不算一件很意外的事儿就像我们瞄准了敌人甲但它却被别人的子弹消灭了我们自然要举枪瞄准下一个敌人但是我们现在采取换岗操作一年多岗的形式来解决这个问题原来
，打一巴掌的机会需要演练很久，才得以实发，确保万无一失。但敌人不会预告战事的爆发，为了无缝对接风云变幻的战场，全防护演练或是减员操作，对战士们来说都是家常便饭。The latest variant DF-21D is an anti-ship ballistic missile that has a maximum range exceeding 1,450 kilometers, or 900 miles, according to the U.S. National Air and Space Intelligence Center. The guidance system is thought to be still in an evolutionary process, as more UAVs and satellites are added. The U.S. Department of Defense stated in 2010 that China has developed and reached initial operating capability of a conventionally armed high hypersonic land-based anti-ship ballistic missile based on the DF-21. This is the first ASBM and weapon system capable of targeting a moving aircraft carrier strike group from long-range, land-based mobile launchers. The DF-21D is thought to employ maneuverable re-entry vehicles, or short for MARV, with a terminal guidance system. Such a missile may have been tested in 2005-6, and the launch of the Jambing-5, Yaogan-1, Jambing-6, and Yaogan-2 satellites would give the Chinese targeting information from SAR, so-called synthetic aperture radar, and visual imaging respectively. The upgrades enhance China's ability to prevent U.S. carriers from operating in the Taiwan Strait. With recently launched a series of satellites to support its ASBM efforts, especially after successfully deploying the Beidou Satellite Navigation System, it has also been suggested China could develop a DF-21D with multiple re-entry vehicles. The DF-21D re-entry vehicle appears to bear similarities to the American Pershing-2 missile's RV, which was withdrawn from service in 1988. The Pershing 2's RV weighed 1,400 pounds and was fitted with four control fins to perform a 25G pull-up after re-entering the atmosphere, traveling at Mach 8 and then gliding 35 miles to the target to pitch into a terminal dive. Though much is made of the DF-21D's damage infliction ability based solely on velocity and kinetic energy. The Australian Strategic Policy Institute has calculated that the energy of an inert 500 kg, or 1,100 pounds RV impacting at Mach 6 had similar energy to the combined kinetic and explosive power of the American subsonic harpoon anti-ship missile. In 2009, the United States Naval Institute stated that, quote, currently, no defense against a warhead able to destroy an aircraft carrier in one hit, unquote if it worked as theorized. It was reported in 2010 that China was finalizing development of AMARV warhead for the DF-21D. United States also has a large network optimized for tracking ballistic missile launches which may give carrier groups sufficient warning in order to move away from the target area while the missile is in flight. Kinetic defenses against the DF-21D would be extremely difficult. The Navy's primary ballistic missile interceptor, the SM-3, would not be effective since it is designed to intercept missiles in the mid-course phase in space. So it would have to be launched almost immediately to hit before re-entry, or from an Aegis ship positioned under its flight path. The SM-2 Block 4 can intercept missiles re-entering the atmosphere, but the warhead will be performing high-G maneuvers that may complicate interception. By 2016, the US Navy was testing the vastly more capable SM-6, which is designed to intercept ballistic missiles in the terminal phase. The SM-6 began deployment in 2011. In late 2013, 
A Russian military analysis report of the DF-21D concluded that the only way to successfully counter it would be through electronic countermeasures. Against an attack from the Mach 10 DF-21D without knowing the missile's launch point, the US Navy's only possible way to evade it would be through electronic countermeasures.